Hi everyone, it's F Sketch Your Fashion Drawing Tutorials and in this two videos we're going to render these two looks from Givenchy Fall 2015 ready to wear. In this video we're going to render Jacquard Damask that is on the right, the coat with corset. I'll show you how to, to render uh, dark red hair. So for now I'm starting from her face. I use patty color uh, to add the shadows and do the contouring. I leave, uh, I leave this triangle of light on your further side, it's called Rembrandt lighting in photography, where one side is a bit dark and has this triangle of light left. So, um, so I make your right side a bit dark, it's further from us, and the side of your face that is closer to us is a bit uh, lit more. So usually I combine patty with almond because they are all like a bit skin tones that are closer to pink than to yellow. So um, and uh, I combine satin with uh, tan or satin with caramel. They are more they are warmer skin tones. So these are pro marker skin tones. If you use different markers, you can match. So now I'm using almond. Almond is a bit lighter than patty, but very close uh, uh, in terms of hue. So I'm coloring it right now on the borders, just like on the top of patty and a bit further into the white area, because I want to build a good gradient, a uh, very smooth transition from one marker to another one. I here I actually accidentally drew the line of your hat, so I will add some accessories later on to to fix it. And now uh, I'm adding shadows wherever I want a higher contrast. Next I'm using purple pencil and I'm really really trying to touch uh, the paper very softly. I'm not showing any strokes, I'm just, um, it's like blending. And uh, I use purple pencil for light skin and usually I use dark brown or even black sometimes for darker skin. So it depends on how dark the skin is. Uh, you pick the pencil for that. And uh, usually you add more of the shadows wherever you have some depression on the skin, some holes or some really um, overlapping. Like here we have jaws that prevent light coming from the top, so we have shadows under your jaws. And sometimes you can use a bit of lighter marker to add just very subtle shadows. I'm using Fine Line Pen Micron 01, the one that I usually use for the outline, to draw your earrings. I just uh, uh, scribble, nothing in particular, and I add shadows with just normal pencil. Next, take a black pro marker and just color your coat. Uh, 
Next, I'm using Silver Prismacolor Premier Pencil. And here you need either wax or oil pencils because they are really thick. Um, not like watercolor, uh, like firm pencils. So now I'm drawing something that is similar to the pattern that I see but usually I don't go into the details I just try in the end to draw the impression of the same closing not exactly the copy of it so now I'm just trying to draw like look once and then just draw what I remember And also pay attention to the shadows on her coat. As you can see, the pattern doesn't have the solid color everywhere. In some places you hardly see the pattern, like for example, um, like between her sleeves and the bodies, uh, especially in the armpit area, you almost don't see any pattern. So there you push less. Sometimes you even amid drawing the pattern. But you should try to uh, make this pattern fade. So for example, if it's in one area is very clear, there you push a bit harder and then you push less, less on its sides. And then when you approach the area where you don't see the pattern, you just push less, less until it vanishes. So try to make it gradual. So here you can see in this lower part, closer to Corsi, that's what I did. I didn't just cut the pattern. I tried to show that there is a pattern, but there are some shadows. And um, you can't really see it. Okay, so here we have some buttons. Let's show them with a fine line pen, like two buttons. And now I'm drawing some pattern between those buttons. Next, take white ink pen, add some highlights uh, on this circle of the button. And next I'm using like light blue Prismacolor pencil and I want to add some blue because I feel like this silver uh, doesn't really show that bluish highlights on the pattern so I will continue using the light blue for the rest of her coat but you basically you can use like yellow if you want to show uh, like more of a golden pattern. You can pick any pencil depending on your design. With black pencil I'm adding some details, for, for example this uh, lines on the leaves, in the middle of the leaves. I also add shadows here like below the lapel, below the collar and in the low part where we have all these folds in the armpits I'm darkening some parts of the pattern that are too light, for example here, um, like on the inner side of her color lapel. And as I told you, I'm continuing drawing this pattern using light blue pencil.
Okay, so again, adding some details, adding shadows, dividing certain elements like um, lapel from the body's part with black pencil. I'm coloring with black marker her corset. And uh, partially coloring her head as a cylinder like sides are darker, center lighter. So, with a silver pencil, I'm showing the area between the bones and I'm leaving the bones black. And uh, just coloring one more time the central piece and uh, the lines on the top and on the bottom. So this area between the bones is a bit shiny, like glossy. So I'm showing that with white ink pen, just showing some reflection of light also on those like... Um, the structural part of the corset. We have some pattern in the center. All right, so now I will draw pattern on her lower part of the coat and I will take into account the shape of the folds. So usually the pattern uh, will be a bit lighter on the top of the fold and wherever the fold gets inside where we have deep shadows will like either admit drawing the pattern or show it very very lightly because it's not reflecting the light and not that visible so again I'm trying to draw interpret this pattern to my own shapes my folds are a little bit different. So here I will just keep drawing symmetrically the pattern because I have one huge fold. So in, in the center it should be more or less lit. So I need to see at least part of this pattern. You can add shadows later on with black pencil. So between those folds. Sometimes you might have some small like fabric uh, depression, like smaller folds inside the bigger one, especially on the top. You can see on this fold that I drew, we have these darker spots on the top in the middle on the pattern. Just let me know what um, textures you are interested in and uh, we can we can draw them in other tutorials so here another one 
I'm going to draw that huge piece of uh, like floral ornament. And whenever I draw, as I told you before, I'm not drawing it in exactly the same way, just something very close to it. Okay, so finishing rendering the pattern. Here I push less, so that fold is less leading in this case for me. It's at the back, so it's possible. 
and with black pencil I'm adding shadows, especially between the folds. We have this massive fold that overlap and uh, we should have a bit wider, clear shadows to show that, for, for example, left side fold is preventing light on the top of the next right side fold. And I'm also adding some details on the pattern. After you finish rendering the pattern, take white ink pen and on that area where we have this background black on the trousers, I'm adding the threads with white ink pen and on this area where I have the background just white, I'm adding it with a fine line pen. So this is how it looks, just random lines. So now I'm going to work with her shoes. Just going to add some highlights to show that that's the leather. For that I start working with black marker and I just color everywhere mm, I need that black, uh, usually the sides. And uh, wherever I have the small folds I draw that kind of triangular uh, edges. Usually it's where the, we tend to a bit bent fit or um, so after I finish coloring with black I take some solid surface it can be plastic it can be glass or it can be metal doesn't matter anything on where you can spread the marker in this case black and then I take blender Blender is a marker that has no color. I mix it with black and I work on these edges. I try like literally to, to just uh, blend that black. It's just, it works like water for the paint. And I try to work starting from those black edges, not from the center of white area. For me, it's really important to build that gradient. So, here as well. From the edges till the center of light area. If you have a huge white area, it's possible that you don't even reach the center, you'll keep it white. So, try to get this effect. Next we take white ink pen and we show some really strong highlights usually along the thread lines. And if you have really sharp uh, tip of the nose then it will be lit as well with a point. You can fix any problems with the edges with a fine line pen. Let's add some highlights on her trousers with a silver pencil because it's basically light gray. And with black pencil I'm adding some shadows. Next I'm using burgundy for her hair and I draw strokes in the direction of the highlights. Not from highlights down but from both sides towards the highlights and I get this like a path-like uh, highlights. So next I'm adding peach. I'm working on the edge of that highlighted area. And then I add both first burgundy pencil and then now black pencil. And I make strokes towards the highlights. So we always move markers, pencils from the dark area towards the light area. So I'm adding some highlights with white ink pen. I don't usually do that, but in this case we have waxed 
on her hair, on the original look. So we need this a bit greasy effect. For that I'm using white ink pencil. If you overuse it, like if you have too much of that pen in the end, you can still use some burgundy or brown pencil and just, uh, just make some strokes on the top to, to make it less. Next, take some brown or like black, even fine line pen and draw this piece of pieces of hair on her forehead. And let's finish her hat. So the sides and the outline, everything is black. I'm keeping some parts a bit lit. And then I'm using eyes gray for just coloring all the area that I left. And next uh, you can use some cool gray five. It really doesn't matter. Just work with some darker grays to get uh, to show that some parts are not that dark. So it's not totally black. Next I'm going to add some accessories also to fix that problem I'm just coloring it with white ink pen and um, let's add some more rings so we're done with this look I hope you enjoyed this tutorial you can ask any questions if you have problems with this rendering and I see you in the next tutorial